Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. In the last video, we introduced and evaluated the limit by constructing a table of values. In this section, we establish laws for calculating the limit and learn how to apply these laws. Using the definition of the limit, that is the limit of f of x as x approaches to a, we can derive many general laws or rules of limits that help us to calculate the limits quickly and easily. The most important skill to develop during this lesson is the ability to evaluate a limit by applying the limit laws in an appropriate order. The first rule is the constant function rule. Here the limit of k where x approaches to a is equal to k where k is the constant. So the limit of a constant function is equal to the constant. For example, the limit of 9 where x approaches to a where 9 is the constant. So this limit is equal to the constant 9. The second rule is the power rule where the limit x raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power n where x is approaches to a. So here n is the positive integer. For example, the limit x square where x approaches to 6 which is equal to by direct substitution that is x square which is 6 square which is equal to 36. So the third rule of limit is constant multiple rule. So here limit k f of x where x approaches to a is equal to k times limit f of x where x approaches to a. That means the limit of a constant times a function is equal to the product of the constant and the limit of the function. For example, limit 2x cube where x approaches to 3 which is equal to 2 into or 2 times limit x cube where x approaches to 3. So which is equal to 2 into x cube. So here we are substituting the value of x is equal to 3. So 2 into x cube which is equal to 54. So this is the constant multiple rule. The fourth rule of limit is sum or difference rule. So here the limit f of x plus or minus g of x where x approaches to a is equal to limit f of x where x approaches to a plus or minus limit g of x x approaches to a. That means limit of a sum of two function is the sum of the limit of the function and the limit of difference of two function is the difference of the limit of a function. So to take the limit of a sum or difference, what we need to do is the is to take the limit of the individual parts and then put them back together with separate sorry appropriate sign. So this is also not limited to two functions. This fact will work no matter how many functions we have got to separated by plus or minus sign. For example, the limit x raised to the power 4 plus 3x where x approaches to 2 which is equal to the limit x raised to the power 4 where x approaches to 2 plus limit 3x where x approaches to 4 not 4 2 strongly written here as 2. So which is equal to substituting the value of x is equal to 2 then it is 16 plus 6 which is equal to 22. The next rule of limit is product rule. So here the limit f of x into g of x where x approaches to a which is equal to limit f of x where x approaches to a into limit g of x where x approaches to a. That means limit of the product of two function is the product of the limit of the functions. We took the limit of the product in the same way that we can take the limit of sum or difference. Just take the limit of the pieces and then put them back together. For example, the limit x plus 8 into x minus 5 x approaches to 4 which is equal to limit x plus 8 x approaches to 4 into limit x minus 5 x approaches to 4. If you substitute the value of x is equal to 4 on this function then it will become minus 12. 
the sixth rule of limit is the quotient rule so here the limit f of x divided by g of x x approaches to a which is equal to limit f of x x approaches to a divided by limit g of x when x approaches to a that means the limit of quotient of two function is the quotient of the limit of the function whenever the denominator is non zero for example the limit 3x square minus 5x divided by x plus 6 where x approaches to 4 which is equal to the limit 3x square minus 5x when the x approaches to 4 divided by limit x plus 6 when x approaches to 4. So if you substitute the value of x on this function which is equal to 48 minus 20 divided by 10 which is equal to 2.8. The next rule is the limit f of x raised to the power n x approaches to a is equal to limit f of x whole raised to the power n x approaches to a. In this property, n is the any real number which may be positive, negative, integer, fraction, irrational, zero, etc. So, for example, the limit root of 6 x cube plus 1 x approaches to 2 which is equal to limit we can rewrite this function as limit x 6x cube plus 1 whole raised to the power 1 by 2 when x approaches to 2. So if you solve this, it will become 49 raised to the power 1 by 2. We can rewrite it. It is a root 49 which is equal to 7. I hope you are clear about the rules of limit. In the next video, we will discuss the methods to find the limit f of x when x approaches to a. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.